Oh, um. Um, oh wow. This is the best question ever. What's the grossest thing you've eaten lately? Um, oh wow. Um, I actually had escargot when I was in Paris uh, not too long ago and it was like really strange and I'm not actually like a huge animal eater in general as it is so that was like already challenging for me and then there's like a consistency to them. I get that it's a delicacy but it was like really stressful for me for sure. Yeah. Did you drench it in butter? I well you know you have to. You judge everything in butter in Paris. <laughs> it's a food group. When you want a good cry, what song do you put on? Oh, um, the Special Two by Missy Higgins will literally ruin me any day, any time, any place. Um, I can just weep for hours to that song. And Not Alone by Patty Griffin is a go-to, for sure. What lunchbox did you have as a kid? I had a Spice Girls lunchbox, most certainly. Um, I dressed up as Mel C for Halloween like a hundred times. Sporty Spice was the girl. Which now, which is funny in retrospect, because I think about Ginger Spice and Scary Spice and how they are totally like the homies now. They're all like in their corsets and like killing it as women, you know? Um, but Sporty was definitely my favorite when I was a kid. Have you ever met her? I wish, are you kidding? No, Mel C. Actually, people in England keep saying that I remind them of Mel C and I'm like, that's great. Keep saying that, amazing. What movie, when it's on TV, can you not turn off? I absolutely would never turn off Transformers. Um, any, which is like a strange answer. I feel like it was probably meant to be like, oh, you know, like, oh, singing in the rain. Like that too, but mostly Shia LaBeouf <laughs> is the moral of the story. <laughs> which Madonna phase is your favorite? I liked when she had like the like the black tutu and like the laced tights and the like uh, hair pieces and everything um, when she was kind of in her like goth yet yeah, like chic goth I guess glamour goth I would call it um, when she had the pearls and everything I was like obsessed with that plus like the blue cover of that album is probably one of the most beautiful album covers of all time. What Breakfast Club character do you relate to the most? Um, definitely Molly Ringwald, right? That's her name, right? I'm not totally messing that up. Claire. Uh, Mo yeah, Claire. I love Claire. I love the outfit she wears. I love her pearls. I love the, like, of course she falls for like the dark brooding one. Like I would do that too. Um, and then he like walks away with his fist in the air because he like got the girl, you know, like I want that for myself. So I don't know if I like actually relate to Claire. I think I just like wish that I was her. When you picture yourself as an old lady, where are you and what are you doing? This is the best question ever. I actually have a very uh, vivid idea of who I am as an old woman. It's somewhere like a cross between uh, Maud from Harold and Maud, so like stealing cars and like causing mayhem, and then like in a huge fur coat, like in a restaurant in Paris, but like ordering in very harsh, kind of like an American accent and like not waiting for someone, like not learning French ever, even though I desperately want to know French. I think like the coolest old ladies are always the ones who are in Paris and they're like, yes, I'll have two cafe au lait. And you're like, whoa, like no trying to fit in. None of, won't have any of that. Um, I remember seeing like a woman like that. She was sitting next to me at a restaurant. And I was, I had the moment of being like, I think that I'm gonna be you in like 60 years. Just get loud and mean and do whatever I want, because I can.